Uh, sort of, I think, you know, like it depends what's your time horizon. I think if your time horizon is the next five to seven years, yes, I think there's a lot of uh, value and opportunity like in emerging markets. You know, just to put this in perspective, we were having a look at the data here and the performance of the U.S. stock market relative to the rest of the world, including emerging markets today, is at close to a 100-year high. Now, that is something which is unprecedented. In fact, you have to really go back to the late 1920s to find out when the gap was so large between the U.S. and the rest of the world in terms of market performance. So it does seem to me that this decade has been America's decade in terms of just how well the stock market in America has done. And for the last few years, practically nothing else in the world has really done well, including emerging markets, Europe, Japan. Um, and I think that now the value is beginning to emerge internationally. Uh, there may still be a hurdle to cross because if the U.S. goes down and there's a bear market in the U.S., it's hard for everyone to escape that. But I think that if you really were to set yourself up for what's going to work over the next decade after this being America's decade, I think many emerging markets would figure in that mix. How do you step into that and avoid uh, the risks of a more tumultuous Middle East, a protracted trade war with China? I mean, is it Latin America? Where do you go first? Yeah, so I think that uh, you go away from the winners of this decade. And so I think that there are countries in Eastern Europe, countries in uh, Southeast Asia, uh, and parts of Latin America, as you suggest, because that's really how the cycle functions. I was in Mexico last week, um, and it's interesting in terms of what's happening in Latin America, that there many governments have either already carried out economic reforms, like in Mexico over the last few years, or in places like Brazil, they've been forced to carry out economic reform because their backs to the wall. That's how these countries act, which is that they only reform when their backs to the wall, and that's what sets it up for things to do well over the coming decade or so. So, yes, I agree with you. There are still lots of risks out there, the trade war um, in the Middle East. Uh, and the Middle East is really all about the oil price spike, which is that's what could sort of further derail some emerging markets, which are very oil sort of consuming from Korea to India. But I really feel that opportunity, yeah. especially on a relative basis, is beginning to emerge just because the U.S. has become so large today, which is that the U.S. share of global markets today, the global equity markets today, is about 55%. Its share in the global so, economy is about 25%.